Peace to the family. It's brother Polite. I ain't getting no rest. Been up. Rock it out with Floyd for his birthday. It was pretty dope. Same gear as yesterday. All I got to do is shower. Got to dip to the other wife. Dip to the other wife so I can get my other set of clothes. Yeah, Lambo Po, you already know. But you know, we I ate in it. No faking it, we I ate in it. In fact, it's a beautiful day. Let's let's take this thing down. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. You know how this go. You know, I ain't used to have, ever having anything. People are like you act like you never had nothing. It's because I didn't. Not compared to this. I can't get enough of this. I be doing this all the time. One, because it makes some people upset. <laughs> and two, it also makes me very happy. It was a win-win. It's a win. Drop the top. You are ready. You are ready. Okay. Time to get out of here. Seeing where this noise is coming from. Yeah, yeah. Watch my drip. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. Hopefully these boys don't start talking crazy. I ain't gonna have no clothes left. <laughs> now I'm joking. But yeah, I like to drive a nose. That's what I was doing though yesterday. They had to do the real Collegiate look yesterday. Preppy look. It was a 90s theme party yesterday. Yeah, it was a 90s theme party yesterday. So, oh shoot, let me put my seatbelt on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm all over the place. Pardon me. Pardon me, people. I think we're on the level now. We get this thing in. Word. Just cruising. California. I know it's freezing other places, but it's just not the case over here. New York, burn. Okay, we out. These hills. Yeah, hills, the hill down there. But yeah, it was a great event. It was 90s day. So I had to come on my my low life energy before y'all start all those Illuminati conspiracies and speculations. A, a Brooklyn person would know what low life is about or who the low life was. So I came with that low life vibe. That's what I brought back on my '90s giant. It was, it was pretty cool. It's a huge success. You know, came through with the wives. Did my thing. But yeah, black men are too effeminate. That's that's what we were supposed to be talking about. Pardon me. I had, to, I had to get my situation straight. Black men are entirely too effeminate, man. The stuff they began jealous about, it's just ridiculous, man. One, they mentioned penis and cock entirely too much whenever they disagree with somebody. I'm really getting tired of it. 
get this one's cock out of this place. Oh, you must really feel this one's penis. Or I'm like, yo, I've never ever, I'm telling you, I never told a man, suck my joint. I never did that. When I'm angry, I've never done that. I mean, what kind of crazy invite is that? And then it's heterosexual men professing to be heterosexual and then inviting people to their penis when they get angry. Or if they're not doing that, they're telling people, if they're not doing that, they're telling people or insinuating that some penis play is taking place whenever they disagreeing with somebody or they don't like something. And I'm like, why does homosexuality, why is homosexuality birthed in their mind the second they disagree with somebody? And it's like serious for real. It's, it's happening so much that I really got a question. Brothers. And then here it is, Floyd and I, we family. And we, it's just, we're real cool. It's like people are upset. I mean, people could disagree with his stance. I don't mind. Like, that happens if he's his own man. I get it. People constructed a stance for me that I never took. Cool. I know I never took certain stances, but that's all right. But the thing that I see the most is that if two black men are fond of each other, support each other, patronize each other, go around the world, have fun, do their damn thing, it's like... It's the end of the world. It gotta be all sorts of drama and all sorts of hate-filled speech. It's like, you want black people to unify, and then when you see brothers united and they're not banging on each other, pause, now it's like, that gets you pissed off. It's almost as if dudes be jealous of some stuff, and I'm like, yo, first of all, I don't even hang out with dudes like that. He's one of the few guys I actually hang out with. And anybody that knows me knows. I'm always with women, with the exception of when I go to the park and play ball, and I have my women watch me when I play ball. Facts. If there's a sporting event, I go with a woman. Even when I'm hanging out with Floyd, I never showed up around Floyd without women. I'm always with women. So even when I hang out with a brother, I'm always with women. Think about that. There's not a man alive that can tell you Yo, I hung out with Polite just by myself. Without him saying, well, you know, to hang out with Polite is to be with one of his women or be around several of his women. That's how that goes. So I just don't get it. I don't get the necessity for all the homosexual talk. Yo, that's the homie. We cool and that's what it is. You know, when I pulled up yesterday, I pulled up with several women. Came to support my brother, but that's just how I am. I, I love being in the company in the presence of women. No matter what the circumstance or the occasion, even if it's a even if it's a guy's night out, I still like to be around sisters. But I just think when I hear stuff like, oh, that money, he must have you on payroll. These are things that's concerning people. It's like they're upset that there may be a possibility of making some money somewhere. Or, I mean, there's things that concern people that don't concern me. And I be saying, man, I can tell that this is what people are upset about. They're upset about possible opportunities and they would like to believe that, well, I'm just going along with anything in order to make money and all this stuff. Like, yo, it's just crazy. What It's wild how people come up with all sorts of ideas that actually represent their insecurities. People are projecting their fears. And it's, it's, and I know that sounds weird because now I have to say people's fear is that somebody may advance other than themselves. And so what they do is say, let me see if I can uh, cancel or nullify this arrangement over there or this friendship over there. Let's see if we can stir some things out. Or let's play reverse psychology. Me, personally, if another brother is friends with another brother, I would never go out my way to ask that one of those brothers stop 
being friends with somebody else. And if they don't, I'm going to stop following you because you're still friends with that person. You know, it's like, come on. A lot of you know drug dealers. A lot of your mothers and fathers is not on the knowledge. And they do contradictory things. But I got to cut off. Every time somebody does something in the celebrity community, I got to cut them off. But you guys don't cut off people in your world. Y'all don't. Y'all know that. Y'all don't cut off people in your world. Y'all don't do that. It's me, though. I got to cut off. Nah, I know what it's about. <laughs> yo, people be so worried. Yo, I, I, yo, listen. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Car's completely paid for. It's a $170,000 car. 2019. The 2018 ones, there's, there's a roof over there. It's the first time in my life I ain't have a roof over my head and I was very content, very happy. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is, brothers gotta stop with the effeminate behavior, man. It's insane. If somebody's friends with somebody and they choose to be friends with that person, if, if it's stressing you out that much, then just don't pay attention to the friendship, man. Move on with your life. But don't use all sorts of homosexual attacks and, Oh, don't don't make don't insinuate so much homosexuality in your deliberations because you're upset that a black man is friends with another black man. It's like give it a break. Some noise going on out here. They be lined up. Hey, thanks. I'm always the white man's brother when I drive a dope ass car. <laughs> Being Louis. Yo, yo, so sweet. cheating shit I just stay with the women that I deal with keep my inner circle where it's at and just do what I do but happy birthday to my homie happy solar return to the homie Floyd good dude good to the people around him but yeah well, all, all of this um, stop being friends with him stuff is just ridiculous and as Feminine as I consider that chant, I still can't find it in me to charge you with penis convictions. <laughs> like, yo, you brothers gotta stop mentioning penis whenever you disagree with somebody. I'm really getting frustrated with that, man. It's like I'm minding my business. I'm thinking, okay, this is about Jesus. Boom, you throw penis there. Okay, you're mad about Floyd wearing Gucci. Boom, you throw penis in there. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, I just start wondering, are, is our brothers just looking for an excuse to just talk about it? It's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy for real. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, I put in pain with the outfit yesterday. It's all low, all low. All low. And like I said, got the kicks over there. But you know, when I'm chilling, I put these slides on. Live a good life, man. I want y'all to live a good life, too. Or die properly. I'm mastering death day by day I just want to show you that a conscious brother can take it to heights that we never conceived of I don't want you to just keep seeing somebody with a damn sheet in the background with a logo 
report to you live from out of their apartment. I want to take you to the next level. BK Fresh for real. Anybody interested in mentorship or consulting, just go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Brother P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. I know I've been extremely busy, but I'm back on the level for a few days. Let's get it in. Get it in. Can take a few more. Now I just show you how to do this. I don't play games with this. I, I actually just want other people to come up so we can share this experience with each other. I want us to come up together so I can have this experience with more people at a time that's conscious, make the transition out the hood, and we just be looking at each other like, yeah, that's what it is. Doing my thing, man. Doing all right. Doing all right for myself. You know, while they were saying I was renting my cars out, I was... While they were saying I was renting cars out, I was renting cars out. So funny. It's funny. And if I get a deal for this V, I'm going to rent it out again. And my truck, which is still being rented out right now, we looking good, man. Looking good. It's, you know, sometimes you shouldn't preoccupy yourself. We have a tendency to look for all the things we don't like in our people and be distracted from what we can learn. I say if there's things about me you don't like, don't let it distract you from all the things that I can share with you. Because I have way more to offer you that's positive, that will guarantee progression in your life, than anything that may perturb you. And you guys, that's what it is. It's called overlooking the loaf for some crumbs. Stop overlooking the loaf for some crumbs. You fighting over these little crumbs on the floor is a whole loaf of bread over there. That's what birds do. Stop that bird stuff. Stop being a bird. Stop fighting for the little crumbs and realize there's a whole loaf there. You feel me? I don't got to agree with everything everybody says or does in order to be able to take that which they can impart or to assimilate the wisdom they impart. And even if they ain't sharing it, if I could just learn from them vicariously and directly, it doesn't matter. If I can take from you something that can empower me I'm going to go there I'm not going to be so blocked by something you don't do good that I'm going to miss out on such a great opportunity to advance myself my culture, my community my friends or my family that's what we got to do there's a lot that can be learned from all of us in a network but we're looking for any excuse to not learn or to not study is this serious here? Like, we really gonna be waiting here for that long? We keep talking about polite, you change, you change, your message change, this country. Ain't, not, ain't nothing change in my message other than the fact that change is inevitable. It's like y'all want me still to be out there struggling with my wives living on the floor, sleeping on the floor of our project apartment, bunk beds for the children. It's like, come on, man. Things change. We got to level up. And guess what? So long as I'm still sane, I'm going to change again. I'm going to keep evolving. That's what it's called. Now, why are you switching up? But you won't call it evolving. That's why I popularly hashtag I'm the evolution of the revolution. Yeah, come on, man. I made the priority getting this bread so I can have the spiritual freedom to travel, get the herbs that I want in expedient fashion at my leisure, have them at my disposal whenever I want them to just be able to do amazing things for the women in my life that I love. Hey, baby, hop in. <laughs> Look at that. You like that? See how I just tell a pull up and hop in? Are you on? What are you? See, that's that's my skills right there. I just, I just, I just pull up. When you rocking out like me, you could just say, "Hey, baby, hop in here," <laughs> and it works every time. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm just on live. 
messing around. It's all lie. What you got? Some coconut water for me? I did get co coconut waters. Wow, look at that. That's what's up. Um, will you be able to drive me to the gym? Since you're here. Negro, Negro. Since you want to pull up. <laughs> Yo, I came to see if they balling. That's what I, that's what I was pulling oh, up. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, if, of course. I'll just pull it over inside. Man, why you got to say it like that? Because. I wanted to see if they balling. You trying, and if they you are, looking to have me in traffic. And if they are balling, you then you know what I'm doing, but you brought it up just to make me feel that, guilty. I, I no, I didn't know. You stood you there and you here. waited until this car pulled up. I don't know for how long you was there, but that's just amazing in itself. <laughs> that's dedication. I did not know what oh, you were doing. It's kind of crazy too. She's just standing there, at random hours. She does that all the time. What do you? I was coming from the supermarket. What yeah, are you I, talking about? I hear you. <laughs> you realize it's like one o'clock. I totally hear you. <laughs> oh, man, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the whole crew is out. Do you there. even have your shorts and stuff? Nah. Who the hell? Are they pushing a the car over there. Oh, stretching. So why did you? I know. I just came out here to see what it is and what it ain't. But, but damn, this should be crowded. Even that the. the Non spots is taken up. Yeah. Scream. Okay. Hmm. I know what I be wanting to do too. I be wanting to park just right here with this red is at. So, how did it go last night? What did you do? Fucking around with Floyd. We just was building a. Uh, Taking pictures. Um, got a real, real dope proposition. It pop off, it's gonna be a lot of bread. A lot of bread, a lot of bread. Got a real, real dope proposition. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just can't discuss it on the live. Mm -hmm. But it includes a lot of money. I'll tell you about it shortly. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Damn, did this person just get a parking space? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the effort. And look look how this freak freaking parks. This is what they do. This or is that not a parking space? I don't know, but I don't like being close. But look at look at how people be parking out here. Look at this shit. Wow. This dude is literally this is Cali for you right here. Look at this. Now what kind of effed up stuff is that? Come on, man. Nah, that's just disgraceful. You know what? I'm a, um what I'm gonna do. I'll just park across Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Let me see. Are they leaving? Yeah. Hey, yo, King, you out? You leaving? I hear that. He <laughs> <laughs> said I should park the same way. Yeah, I should park like that. What the hell? They got no business parking that type of car like that. My shit deserves two spaces in one. These niggas, boy. That's my shirt. Maybe. Oh my gosh. That's why I don't be having no boxes and shit, man. Yo, I don't be wearing your boxes. <laughs> y'all <laughs> all, y'all okay. all, yeah, my hats, my boxes, my shirts. God damn. I don't wear your boxes. And then I don't be having nothing. She's beautiful. Hey, right. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> they supporting that crazy ass parking. They're like, yo, when it comes to this car, I should be doing the same thing. 
know what I want to ask you is just, yo, peace, G. Hey, I'm coming right now. I'm just gonna see who's over here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jan, can you fix one of them coconuts up for me? Look at that drip. Look at that. Ah. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. But that's what you had planned. You brought those. Huh? Yo, guy hit me up. Come on, that be. Coconut water. Come on, come on. Wait, bro. Not like the little piece of coconut is in the straw. I take it. I'd be afraid it was gonna choke me. Yeah. When that happened. Boom, we in this beer. Let me see what they're dealing with. Make sure you don't throw this one away because I want to eat the meat. Mm. Oh my gosh, I just realized how dirty your brain is. Yo, it's not me talking about wanting to eat meat. Of the coconut. Of the coconut, the, the white stuff. Okay. The white stuff that come out of the hole. It ain't me that think like this. You sick. Ass court. Why they be playing over here? I don't know. They should play over there. Oh man, now I'm afraid to play. This is crazy. Yeah. Hey, what up? <laughs> it was a 90s uh, thing party. So in Brooklyn, we used to wear a lot of polo. Let me move out the way. I wouldn't know if I was going to run. It was a good run earlier. Oh, right? And it's still, it's still good because you got some young guys that want to run that run the full for real. I wish y'all was playing. I'm 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I apologize. <laughs> it's good. We back to normal now. Word, right, man. I'm like, this shit. I thought the world was going to end. I'm like, oh, shit. When it starts snowing and doing shit in places, they don't do it. All year round, baby. Snowing by the beach. Like, what the fuck? That's what I'm talking about. You know, not even so. I remind you of that movie the day after tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at some of those movies. Real, though. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? They just get Parking spot. Hey, 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 no. I had to come back out another day and take pictures. 
I didn't know how crazy it was until I just kept being told. I'm like, you know what? You guys are right. This is a dope album. Hey, so I'm about to go play some ball. My baby right here bought me some. Killed from that. That's why it was so hard to drink this shit. Look at this. You know, I was dying Those in this motherfucker drinking this shit. You know what? I, I hate these do? paper straws, yeah, man. Yeah, paper straws. Is I'm down with being eco friendly, but paper straws is the shittiest <laughs> the invention paper straws. I've ever seen to solve a problem. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna be gonna hold you. I hate paper straws. It tastes nasty. It's fucking up it's, the whole It energy. gets soggy. It's ridiculous. They need to make some flavored. That's paper one exception, straws. you know? It's one exception. It's just Sorry, just for the straw, at least. Yeah, it's Let's go. I it was no, I, I want the coconut oh, yeah, meat. Yeah, my bad, my bad. You like the. You like it hard. See? No comments. So I don't like it when it's jelly because I don't know, it just doesn't, the texture doesn't feel nice. I like the jelly joint. Yeah, I don't like it when it's like, it tastes like soft. Like, like that. about to make milk or something with it. That's why I like that. See, I would use, I would use that for milk, but if I'm going to just eat it straight out, the coconut, it's got to be a little firm. I don't like it when it's hard, just like firm, like still solid. Uh, I like the gooey shit. I, I like it nice and wet. All right, let's go. <laughs> yo, see? Oh, that's what you talking about. You nasty. Come on, just stop. Yo, don't act, on, yo, don't act gutter, like man. no. <laughs> see, yeah. see right don't act you like you yourself. didn't say that for on, man, like young, that for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't I'm a, I'm a just, and you're not that much older than me anyway, so come yeah, on. But I, I ain't as freaky as your ass. I, I'm not as freaky I, as you. I, what I you talking about? You, I know what you did in San Francisco. And I also know what you did in San Francisco. You was with me, nigga. Precisely. <laughs> and you the reason that happened. <laughs> no, no, that I'm not. not my idea. You know I don't get down like that. That was absolutely your idea. You no, know I don't get down like that. You ain't never know me to get down like that. It's not until I start really hanging out with your ass. And yet we both participated, so... I participate. Shit, I watched you. Uh-huh. I watched you do your thing. Sure. People hate it. <laughs> People are so funny. I love it. I love it. He said, why walk on the court looking like that for and if you're gonna play? like four hours on the court playing basketball and I gotta catch Ubers and whatnot. Eight people. So it's been great talking to you. What? Oh, you know, I don't know why I thought that was your pants. I'm like, <laughs> yo. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I do. This didn't make no sense. <laughs> Man, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna give y'all the free game when I get back on it. I was just knowledge. He's like, give us some free game before you you head out. Thanks. Check y'all though. I'll let y'all 
when I get back on, we're gonna really cook and do some, get some information and peace and many blessings. I love y'all so much. Word. What time are you going by?